Here's a quick trick to help filter or search through these lists a lot quicker. Now you can create filters over here on the left simply by click, right clicking on the all and creating a new group filter or a new properties filter. Group filters are basically going to allow you to choose a handful of layers and group them together. This could be say your production layers versus design layers. You may want to be able to turn off your design layers quickly. This could be like construction lines and text for yourself and notes that you don't want plotting. And then your plotting or production group could turn everything on like the dimensions and notes and your disclaimers and title blocks, that kind of thing. Or you can create properties filters. And we'll do an example here. Properties filters allow you to filter the layers by any of the properties that they contain, grouping them together by that property or by multiple properties. One that I'll typically have is an annotation, so I'll call this anno, and I'm simply going to, oh, I've already got one here, so we'll just call this one anno2 because I've already made this one in this drawing, but what you're going to want to do is use a wildcard, which means that it doesn't matter the beginning part or the end part if you uh, sandwich a word in between two asterisks or wildcards. So I'm going to type in an asterisk and then A N N O and then another asterisk. And that's going to add every layer that has those four letters in it A N N O. So you can see the list down below. By hitting OK, I now can select that. Uh, property filter and it's going to filter out all of the layers for me so that I only see the annotation layers within my drawing. This is going to allow me to quickly and easily turn them off, change their plot settings, line weights, line types, etc.